I'm just going to highlight some some policy priorities uh, that that will that we hope will help improve the environment uh, for SMEs going forward, and and some policy challenges uh, that, that that face us all. The first is an, an appropriate regulations and streamlining of development finance institutions. So government DFIs have in the past been blighted by mismanagement. Um, and in some instances, politically motivated or crony loans, and otherwise, and otherwise governance challenges, uh, but also a culture of poor repayment. Um, so, th there is general acceptance that some consolidation and redesign is required, which addresses, um, in particular, challenges relating to repayment. Um, what, what we've seen through the the, the loan guarantee scheme as well as in the a successor scheme that I'll go into right um, in, in a second, is that when you work with the private sector, um, repayment cultures dramatically improve. So this, this, this to me indicates an, an, an important discussion that we need to have about the role and the nature of uh, public support, public financial support for SMEs. It's not that the quantity uh, necessarily needs to change, but the interface and the interconnection with private sector finance providers who in most instances understand borrowers um, uh, well and understand the incentives that drive them. Um, facilitating um, funding through these sorts of entities may be the most efficient outcome uh, for the public. This, is, this reflects the experience of, of other countries as well. Um, generally around the world, countries are decreasing the number of state-owned financial institutions precisely because managing these issues has proven very difficult, um, even for countries with um, higher and stronger uh, frameworks of, of governance more generally. I mean, the most recent example is, is probably India, where the government is currently on a, on a privatization drive of state banks. This was the case even before coronavirus, where India uh, suffered one of the world's highest bad loan ratios, uh, a persistent obstacle of faster economic growth um, and, a, and a risk that often um, um, cause uh, competing um, expenditure pressures with other key uh, social spending, such as health, education, etc. So this, this is a, 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 a debate and an issue that I think um, is, is something that we, we, we need to um, um, assess and, um, um, uh, and come up with a solution um, uh, rel relatively quickly. And I, and I know, for instance, that, um, that, that uh, some discussions around an appropriate redesign, um, including possible consolidation, is already occurring within government. Um, on the policy side, uh, we will also be undertaking uh, some uh, reforms, including uh, the facilitating the creation of a credit SME credit information system. And this is really aimed to address uh, challenges uh, of, um, of of um, the credit quality of, of institutions um, as. Uh, as also, I guess, discussed by um, by business partners um, earlier in, 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 in this morning's presentations. Um, in addition to this, um, work is also ongoing on a collateral registry system uh, to allow SMEs to register collateral and, and reduce their, their overall cost of funding. 